Okay, the flexible solar panel rooftop install on my casita. First, I place the HQST flexible solar panel centered on the roof of my 13-foot Casita Patriot. Once positioned, I mark the edges with a Sharpie. I'm not worried about marks as I will be covering the edges with a turnabond tape anyway. I then stuck some industrial strength Velcro with a sticky backing in order to hold the position of the panel on the roof so it wouldn't move while I apply the Eterna Bond tape. I then placed the cable entry gland. The cable entry gland will provide cover for the hole that I am about to drill through the roof of my casita. Yep, you heard that right. I'm about to drill through the roof of my casita. The wires get fed through the nipples of the gland. The edges are then covered with Eterna Bond tape as well. I mark the place where I am going to drill. Time to drill! Once drilled, I feed the charge control cables to the hole in the roof. Here's the view from the inside of the casita looking up at the roof. Make sure you know which end is positive and which end is negative. I even used red tape to mark the positive end so that there was no doubt. I decided to hook the panels together in parallel rather than series. One reason is that they have similar power specs, and two, I can just run the roof panel by itself. If I did it in series, I would forever have to run both my rooftop and portable solar panel at the same time, at least the way I could figure it out, as they would have to be connected in order for the series connection to work. I then download the PDF for the Adventurer PWM charge controller to figure out again where the panel wires go, and which entry was for which polarity. I then connected everything first to ensure that I was working correctly before I pasted everything down. Once I could see that the panels were delivering a charge, it was time to tape everything down. The turn bond was originally used for rooftop repairs. I was going to use VHB tape, but decided that the Eterna bond would be sufficient. I then cut the tape to fit, peeled back the edges, and pressed the tape to seal. I then had to strip the panel wires of their connectors in order to fit through the, the cable gland. Once through, I tightened the nipple to create a watertight seal. Once the wires were through the nipples, I then sealed the perimeter of the cable gland, then connected both panels in parallel and tested the setup. As you can see, the panels, represented by PV, are drawing a charge. Over time, the battery should top off. From start to finish, this project took me under two hours. It took me, it took me a lot less time as I already had the casita wired for a single panel. Adding a second panel was not as big of a deal. Hope this is helpful for you. Please subscribe, comment, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video.